Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well and thank you for watching VCDL configuration series. This is part 5. If this is the first video that you are watching, please check the video description. In the previous lesson, we have learned how to install and configure VCDL extensions, users, trunks, manual campaign, and how to configure preview dialing campaign. Before we go to more advanced topics such as predictive dialing, Let's take a look at some VCDL features. In this video, I will show you how to access real-time dashboard and I will give you a brief introduction of some useful reports. Okay, let's start. Uh, in order to access the real-time dashboard, you need to log in in admin panel and select reports and then select a real-time main report. And what is the real-time main report or real-time dashboard? It will show you a real-time view of your agents and activity of your campaign. For example, here I have logged in with my agent in the agent panel with the agents that I have created in the previous videos. Uh, user 5001, I log into the campaign. As we can see, it is showing SIP 1001, which user, and what is the status. And the colors are changing. Here, there is a guide to the colors. For example, if an agent is paused for 10 seconds, then this is the color. But if it is paused one minute, it will change to the color. As you can see, it is 135, and here, it will show you uh, with respective color. So this is a good guide for you. What other options do we have? Uh, if you select the choose report display options, by default, the refresh rate is set to 40 seconds. This is a little high. You can make it to four seconds. So every four seconds, you will see the updated information. Uh, do you want to see inbound campaigns information as well. We have not learned inbound campaigns yet. So let's just uh, say it as yes for now. And other options that we have, uh, I will teach you in the next lessons. For now, just the screen refresh rate because we need it now. So for example, uh, now I'm changing my status from post. I want to do a dialing. So I put my number and I'm dialing. As I'm dialing, as you can see, the status is changed and it is dial manual. Let me answer the call. As I'm in the call, as the agent is in the call, as you can see, it is in the live call. Here in real time, you will see the status as well. It is in call. And for 30 seconds uh, in campaign demo, user Omid Mohajrani is in the call. It will show you the number of calls, four calls, because before this video, I have uh, did some testing calls. And the other information that you can actually see, what is the drop rate, drop percentage, uh, what is the dial level that is for the predictive dialing, so this is the real-time panel and imagine I hang up the customer and now I'm in the disposition page. As you can see here, it's updated and the user is now in the disposition page. So in real time, you can monitor the activity of your agents. That's about real-time panel for now. You can, of course, check all the options and very uh, good uh, reference is the VCDL manual that you can buy from their website. In order to access the reports, you need to log in in admin panel and select reports. We have discussed about the real time main report. Some other useful reports that you, you may use and I'm usually using. The first one is the agent time detail inbound report when you have configured your campaign to receive 
incoming calls, outbound call reports, export call report and export leads. I will show you how these uh, reports look like. The first one is agent time detail. Agent time detail report will give you information about your agents. If you want to check your agent productivity, how many calls did they have, how many answered call or how many sales calls did they have, this is the report that you can refer to. So I'm selecting a date as today. I'm selecting the campaign for now, we just have one campaign. So it doesn't matter if I select all campaigns or just my campaign. I select all users and then I click submit. It will give me a, a brief overview of the agent. For now, I just have one agent. I had two calls. Uh, what was the login time? Six minutes. What was the wait time? Talk time, the actual time that I talk to the customer. Disposition time is the time that I spend when I'm in the disposition page. Pause time, the time that I'm paused. Uh, this is a little tricky because if you are uh, set up your campaign in a mode that you are receiving the calls, it's more meaningful, but for preview dialing, it's just the normal stage that you are in. Dead time is the time that uh, agent hang up or you are not talking to customer before you click the hang up button. For example, I have talked to the customer. This is the disposition page. Uh, but customer hang up, but I didn't click on the hang up customer. This is the time that VCDL saves as dead time. Uh, to know the detail about all of the uh, options, it's better to actually buy and uh, read the VCDL manual. That's very helpful. Uh, of course, you can download the report as well in a CSV format and you can open it in the Excel file. Let's go and see the other reports. Inbound report, I will show you when we have set up the inbound campaign. Outbound call reports, that it will give you an overview of how many calls they have. For example, total calls placed for this campaign was three. What was the average call length? Uh, total human answered, outbound calls. As we can see, you have a lot of parameters and you can really monitor your campaign productivity and your agent's productivity. Next two reports that are very useful are export call reports. Sorry, export call reports. That here you can export uh, all the information about the calls that your agents had. So I want to select uh, all campaigns, all inbound, all list, all statuses. For example, here you just want to, um, for example, export the dropped calls or answered calls or the sales calls. So you can just um, select the criteria that you want the user group that we just select all user group when you have multiple multiple campaigns in visual then you need to select the exact group that you want report for and then you click submit and the report will be uh, exported in the txt file now pay attention it is in txt file but it is in a CSV format. So if you want to open it in the Excel file, just change the extension from TXT to the CSV, and then you can open it in a, a Excel file. Uh, the other useful report is uh, export leads. What is the difference between lead and calls? Uh, leads are our customers that we are calling. So uh, you may call 10 times, uh, you may call 10 times to one lead. So Leads uh, is the customer's calls or the calls to the leads. So the mechanism is the same because these two reports are have the same fields. Usually the users confuse between these two, what is leads and what is calls. So calls is the actual call, leads are the customers. List, statuses and groups, and then you can export. Um, very interesting thing is that because if you have enabled recording in your campaign, if you select this to the file name, then you have the file name of the um, recorded file as well. Or if you select as location, then you will have the exact URL location of the recorded file of uh, all conversations. So that's very useful in some use cases. 
Uh, this is about reports. We have a lot of reports. You need to check them uh, manually. And if you have any questions on any of the reports, or if you don't know a meaning of a status or any question, you can comment here and I will answer because there are a lot and we cannot go through all of them. I just want to give you an overview of what is report and what reports usually we are using in the VC dial. Uh, thank you for watching this video and if you find it useful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.